everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, welcome to our uh, pre-proposal conference for our North Trenton Battle Monument Neighborhood uh, Choice Neighborhood uh, Planning Grant. Uh, my name is Jelani Garrett. I'm Executive Director of the Trenton Housing Authority. We also have representation online. I have Christy Huff, Redevelopment Project Manager for the Trenton Housing Authority. I also see uh, Ben Delisle, who is the Director of Housing and Economic Development for the City of Trenton. Um, and we won't go through uh, introductions. However, I just wanted to point out the city folks and us um, just by way of background, the Housing Authority was awarded a Choice Neighborhoods Planning Grant in 2019. Um, we have uh, submitted to HUD a, a outline uh, plan with content, um, and we are anticipating uh, submitting a draft plan that will include the housing plan sometime in early July. Um, we have very good feedback um, from, from HUD thus far. Um, our partnership um, with the city of Trenton we all, is, 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 is going very well. We also have, as a positive portion of this program, we also have the state NJHMFA and the state uh, is, is very much involved in a part of our partnership and is uh, supporting this program. Uh, what we do today, we'll go through a brief presentation of our presentation that we did at our last housing uh, task force meeting that will give you an idea of the program. It shouldn't take more than uh, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, and then uh, whatever questions that you have, we will we will answer whatever questions that you have. Uh, so I want to go to the next slide, Christy. So today we'll just, just we'll just get a, a understanding of the proposed building program. Uh, which just I just like to say that that's that's preliminary. We are looking for the successful responding to this to be very involved in making sure that that is something that is feasible and that your input is uh, given as as a part of that. Um, we'll look at the Donnelly Home site, the neighborhood infill, and just exploring what we've what we've spoke, spoken with residents about in terms of building types. So, just briefly, um, this is a very uh, ambitious program for the city of Trenton. We are talking about the redevelopment of our Donnelly Homes property. Uh, Donnelly Homes currently consists of uh, 376 units. Uh, it's configured in uh, eight, eight walk-up buildings and 13 townhome buildings. Uh, it has 154 one-bedroom units, 66 two-bedroom units uh, in the walk-ups and 110 two-bedroom units and 44 uh, three-bedroom units in the townhomes. Um, we are looking at essentially uh, the redevelopment of Donny Homes um, and the Choice Neighborhoods calls for a one-for-one -one replacement of public housing units. Uh, however, the entire program, we're looking at a two-for-one replacement. So we did have a we did have a national firm do a, a market potential uh, for the neighborhood, and that's what you what you are looking at uh, in the box there, and what they determined uh, that the neighborhood could absorb on an annual level over five years. Um, again, it's a very ambitious program for Trenton, but we feel as though we have the partners in place, and from what we have studied from the market and the, the market study and the market potential, our program is very much, very much doable. Um, we have site control over Donnelly Homes, of course. As we go through this, you will see that there are a number of parcels offsite that the city has site control of. We actually are working uh, closely with the city and have a commitment with the city that they will ensure that we have, uh, we have property in order to uh, effectuate this program and get relocation done. Um, you can move on, Christy. Okay, we're looking to, again, Donnelly Homes is essentially the, your, your typical um, public housing barrack style property um, that's, that's, that's blocked in 
Um, we look really looking at something that will reconnect uh, Donnelly Homes into the existing uh, physical streetscape and and reintegrate it into the neighborhood. Um, so that's that's just what you know what we're looking at. We we have done some preliminary uh, preliminary work in terms of uh, looking at density, as you'll see as we go along, and looking at uh, the connectivity within the neighborhood. Site infrastructure, again, this is very, very preliminary. We, we do know that uh, the, the service um, to the property for, for heat is fed from the main building. So whatever program that we, that we implement, um, we're gonna have to really look hard at phasing for the, for the demolition of Donnelly Homes and ensuring that uh, we can effectuate relocation and we can do it in an intelligent way. Uh, so we have done, uh, just briefly, we have done, and again, this is all just conceptual. Uh, our consultant has done a massing diagram to look at the potential for our, uh, our Donnelly Homes neighborhood, as well as the offsite properties. I just, uh, would like to note that we are working on, uh, having, uh, there are two redevelopment areas in this neighborhood. Uh, actually three redevelopment areas in this neighborhood and we're working on with the city on uh, bringing about a fourth redevelopment area that would uh, encapsulate Donnelly Homes and some su surrounding properties. But we have a, based on our mass study that we've done to date, uh, we have a program that reduces density on Donnelly Homes. We feel as though we can get 339 units in there the configuration is essentially uh, stacked townhomes and some uh, elevator, uh, multifamily uh, elevator buildings oh. along MLK um, with, with non-residential on the ground floor. Um, we also have been in conversation and again, in partnership with the city and working with the Board of Education for the junior one uh, uh, Middle school, that is a historic middle school in the city of Trenton. It was actually the first uh, middle school in the nation, actually, to, it was the first, first, uh, the first experiment with middle school in the nation there. So we have looked at that and we've been conservative. I think we, we have uh, 40, around 40 units that, that we can slate in the middle school as well as non-residential space. You move on. And this is just uh, another look at uh, what we've done, just preliminary conceptual site diagram. And I just want to, you know, I just want to uh, reiterate that, you know, this is this is all conceptual. These are these are our, our efforts to to produce a housing plan, but we will really be looking for the input for the developer and the experience of a of a developer to to give us better insight and potentially um, more creative ways even to do this. But this is what we what we have so far. We do anticipate uh, because of the administration building is such a has been such a, a, a valuable uh, piece of property in the community center. We do anticipate uh, the administration building, the Trenton Housing Authority administration building remaining in this plan. So this is just uh, uh, different. What what our what our consultant did was actually take a look uh, strictly at publicly owned land, publicly owned vacant land, and and publicly owned build vacant buildings, and come up with a program. This particular one is is a look at where we can yield uh, three plus units on a particular parcel. This plan does not include any uh, dislocation, any uh, dislocation or relocation of homeowners and families in those neighborhoods. It strictly uh, conceptualizes uh, using publicly owned vacant land and publicly owned buildings. So, I mean, we, and we'll make this presentation available. As you can see, um, we've done some work on what, what is possible uh, through the neighborhoods with three plus units. And then we went down a little further uh, 
dug down a little deeper and saw where we could do two two units, areas that could yield two units and that total yield. I think the total yield, um, I think we're in somewhere just off of the Donnelly home site and the vacant city owned properties and the uh, junior one, the school building. I think we're somewhere in the area in excess of 600 uh, units. Again, uh, for the points for a you know full disclosure, we're fully looking for this developer, whoever is selected to help us with a uh, implementation grant uh, with uh, the Choice Neighborhoods Implementation Grant. Um, I will say that we are in a uh, good position. I think we've, for, with the planning grant, we've we've checked all the uh, boxes for HUD and we've uh, collaborated with a number of local organizations. Um, our partnerships are strong. Um, we have the, the city on board. And like I said, we have the, the state is really uh, supportive of this project. So I think that's a good thing whenever we begin to look at uh, tax credit applications and those type of things they have they have given their su support. Um, in addition to the uh, so just go back one. So I just wanted to say uh, I didn't speak on we our feedback um, from the city and from residents. There's definitely a a, a strong uh, desire for home ownership and and one of the values of our plan is wealth building. So we want you to look hard at um, home ownership opportunities where we can make home ownership available. Christy, can you go back to the first slide? Yeah, and I think that, uh, so, you know, I think as you can see, our market potential tells us that there is an opportunity uh, for homeowner, home ownership absorption um, the housing authority is working hard from its end with uh, with our family self sufficiency program and other programs we're putting in place for home ownership program. So, you know, I just want you to think think strongly about uh, home ownership, and that's a key that's a key factor in this plan. Okay, this is just some of the. This is just give you an idea with our discussions uh, with uh, with residents here and our discussions with the community, the styles that have been the type of archi architectural styles um, that they that they have preferred. I mean, I think it's pretty much, uh, as you can see, they, they, they like the porches, um, they like the townhome style, um, they like the two story, you know, the two story townhome style. So I think that that comes through. Two and three story. Again, same thing. Uh, these are some projects that, um, in our discussions with uh, residents in the community, that we presented, and they seem to definitely uh, prefer. There's a strong push for uh, like stacked townhomes and townhome styles. You can see some of these developments here. These are things that was that were really um, really appreciated by by those residents looking at it. Um, again, we talked about uh, there is a, a, a there is an opportunity for multifamily. There's, these are just some different multifamily style developments that we looked at, um, but definitely along MLK, I think there is a there is a strong uh, there's a strong push for some multifamily so we can de-densify other portions of the site. Um, there is some uh, negative connotations with multifamily here, but I think um, with, with the right design and the right management, we can overcome some of those things. Uh, and then this is just uh, a look at adaptive reuse for the junior one. Uh, we're looking at uh, definitely adaptive reuse for the junior one uh, school. And these are just some, some examples of that. That's all for the presentation. Yeah. So that's it just briefly for the presentation. Uh, I will welcome any questions or any, you know, any additional questions or comments.
Yes, when, uh, when will this present, when will that um, plan be available online? When would the the choice the choice neighborhoods uh, yes. planning yes. grant? Yeah. Well, the plan. So just so we're looking at we're looking at the plan. We're looking at submitting the plan in September. So the plan will will be available at that time. Uh, but we're looking to select the developer in September as well. So um, and then we're looking to move toward implementation. So again, I just want to reiterate that that will be a preliminary plan. We will really be looking for your input in terms of uh, the feasibility of the plan and, and, and whether they can actually be implemented. So what you just presented is not available as yet. Well, the, what you just presented. I think is our is our is our outline with uh, yes the outline with content is available on the website yes. Okay. Yes, outline with any you can go to our website. Uh, tha-nj.org and we have a choice neighborhoods page and you can see there's a there's a ton of information on our process and what what we've been doing and, um, we can put up this presentation today yes and we'll put up the presentation as well ben has his hand up okay i thought that was or oh, brandon rule I didn't mean to raise my hand if it's up. I'm sorry. Oh, no problem. So Joe has his hand up. Yes, thank you. Did you say um, you're anticipating the selection of this RFQ in September? Yes. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, can we get a list of today's attendees Would that be available online? Yes. I'll give you that. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I can hear you. Okay, uh, Steve Gilbert from Win. Um, but uh, are, you're looking for one developer for all of this, or is well, we're look, so the housing authority is looking for a a, a developer partner, um, sp specifically as it relates to pursuing a choice neighborhoods implementation plan and the redevelopment of the Donnelly Homes portion. Um, we have commitment from the city to work with the city to to provide offsite parcels, to provide offsite parcels that can get that program done with respect to relocation. But also, the city may be uh, selecting a partners to do other uh, developments within the neighborhood. So it could be uh, this. This is a joint process between us and the city. So the housing authority will select. A developer for its property and for the for the choice neighborhood, but the city as well may look at um, the proposals that come in and look at developers for different uh, redevelopment areas within the choice neighborhood. Hope that answers your question. Right. Thank you. Uh -huh. A uh, quick question on the Junior One School. Does that actually have a historic designation right now, um, the Chippo? Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Janine. Um, and another quick question um, for the non-residential space. Do you guys have any thoughts in mind as to what you're looking for for that? Yes, I mean the community has really talked about uh, the community has talked about uh, community centers type of situation, potentially um, some commercial. Uh, that's that's still being developed in terms of the neighborhood plan. But with Junior One, we've gotten uh, really strong input and comments from the surrounding neighborhood and even the residents that live here of of reintroducing those spaces as community spaces potentially training, I think somebody talked about uh, there's, a, there's a pool there, different things like that. So that's what we have so far. Would the city be open to converting 
uh, Junior One into uh, you know mixed use, you know housing and, and community facility potentially. Well, I think the what we have so far and our plan for it is that it's just that uh, it, it, it will make this available. We conceptualize uh, senior housing and uh, the use of community spaces, as just as you say, is mixed use. And I think we, uh, I think we, I think we uh, estimated forty units or so there, forty somewhere in that. Is that right, Christy? Somewhere in that area. Yeah, it was thirty-eight units. So. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Uh... Yeah, I have one. I was just wondering, um, I saw that there's a separation between some of the kind of affordable units and maybe some of the market rate stuff. I'm assuming that's what the uh, the city of New Jersey, but in this contemplation of the 700, what are the affordability levels that you all are looking for? Is it 30 percent, so 50, 60, as well as some markets? Well, there would be a, if you look at the table and we'll make that, uh, like I said, we'll make the presentation uh, available, but the mix would be similar to the table um, that we that we provided. And okay. uh, we also would be looking, we also will be looking again for guidance from the developer, our value is that our values are that we want to mix. We want a mixed income neighborhood, and so we would like all different uh, incomes, and we would like home ownership as well in the neighborhood. Perfect. Felix. Oh, I'm sorry. That was inadvertent. Oh, okay. Thumbs up. Uh, I yeah. thought it was a question. Okay. Yeah, good job. <laughs> okay, so is any other any other questions? Questions? Ben? Ben? Um, just one quick one again. I'm sorry. Yeah. Did you say you're looking for one developer for the entire project, or will you have multiple developers? Well, the, how, well, the, the housing authority in this case is the lead is the lead agency uh, for this particular development. So we are looking to partner with a with a developer for the housing authority that would include the redevelopment of Downey Homes. Like I said, we're looking. We're going to select one developer. Okay, thank you. And there may be more developers selected by the city. When do you think the city would come out with their RFP, RFQ? What's the timing on that for their parcels? Well, I don't, I don't know right now. The city, the we're working closely with the city, so it may be that this developer, it may be that, I mean, best case scenario, we think that this developer that we select, um, that the city uh, disposes of land to us to get this development done. So um, we don't want to tie, the city doesn't want to tie up all of their land, all of their land on one developer, but we do have a commitment to provide uh, sufficient land to get this development done and get our relocation done. So I think this, we will be working, we will be working in cooperation with the city, with the developer that we choose. Can I just, this has been Ben Delisle, um, Director of Housing for the city. I just want to echo what um, Jelani just said. You know, we're, we're going to look to this process first to see what development interest uh, and proposals come in for the Donnelly home site and then look to support that. Um, it, it may be that our land is part of that project. It may be that it's separate from it and there's a, a, a separate developer. Certainly the Donnelly home site is just one piece of this entire choice neighborhood. So there may be development opportunities for you know, multiple developers. Uh, I did wanna also just point out um, as the um, Jelani did on the, on the slides, some of these offsite and, and infill development potential sites, 
you know, we are actively looking at uh, foreclosures in, in certain areas that were, that were circled there and going to be doing demolitions. Uh, you'll, if anyone goes around and drives around, you'll see there's quite a bit of, of vacant and dilapidated property out there. So we're actively looking to uh, expand that, um, you know, the, the, the assemblage of land out there. So uh, don't look at what's out there as static um, and there's, you know, more to, uh, more to come. Um, and certainly looking for appropriate development partners uh, in the future to, to redevelop th those areas. And as far as um, there was a question earlier about the city doing an RFP, you know, we, we may or may not do one. We don't have one scheduled right now. Um, again, we're gonna see how this process goes. And if we feel like we need to do one, we will, or we'll partner with whoever um, the housing authority selects or, or just do uh, direct negotiated uh, development deals um, for various sites uh, in the area. Okay, thank you. Um, will the will the um, uh, Zimmerman Volk market study be available as well as the presentation you just made? Yes, absolutely. We'll make it available. Thank you. So uh, one quick question on the, the presentation that you just shared, uh, Kushan from WXY Architecture and Urban Design here. Um, in the conceptual massing diagram, there are about 339 units. Uh, but on the first slide, you had sort of talked about 700 units that can potentially be absorbed on non um home site uh, and within the choice neighborhood. So I'm, I'm wondering if, if Donnelly site is the centerpiece. Um, are you looking at some form of zoning variation for additional density or kind of the unit mix or kind of the, the number 339 units that you have from your consultant? Is that the kind of density that you're looking at? Yeah, I think the, the 339 is the type of density that, that we're looking for initially. The 750 takes into consideration the entire neighborhood. Um, but Donnelly Homes is the target site for the Choice Neighborhoods Implementation Grant. So um, whatever you do, you have to, essentially you have to, uh, you have to replace those units um, as a one for one replacement of those units. So our, our idea is that those units will be par par partially on the, the current site of Donnelly Homes and partially, partially, partially intermixed uh, throughout the blocks in the North Trent neighborhood, utilizing, like uh, Director DeLau said, utilizing city-owned properties, utilizing the Junior One School, and utilizing other uh, properties to become available to ensure that we, we ha have an income mix. We don't want to just put uh, public housing all back on the Donnelly Home site. That's not the idea of the program. The idea of the program is to uh, bring greater incomes in and bring a mix in and bring different housing types in uh, to improve the community. So, got it. Thank you. And, and Jelani, the, the expectation is that Donnelly will come down. Um, I mean, I haven't been there in a while, so I don't recall the condition, but is the expectation that the, you see this, the housing authority sees these as, as really teardowns and, and with being replaced with all new. Uh, ground up construction that's 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 our that's is really our vision for it particularly with the three-story walk-ups uh we're not saying we won't accept any other proposal uh but i think that the feedback that we get from our board and from 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 the community is this the three-story walk-ups are not a, a good a good living environment so we're looking to you know demolish and, and redevelop yes You got Brandon Rule there. Yeah, so I was just asking about the business certification of New Jersey. I was making sure that it's not a requirement for uh, like the headquarters to be out of New Jersey, just making sure it's an extension uh, for companies that may not be originally headquartered there. I just wanted that right, clarification. No. no, I think you just have to get a, uh, you just got to get a registration certificate in New Jersey, that's all. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Uh -huh. That it. I, I want to thank thank everyone for attending today. Uh, I just want to encourage you to put your thinking cap on. I think it's an an exciting time. There's a lot of potential 
in, in the city of Trenton and particularly uh, in this neighborhood. And we're, we're looking for really uh, creative proposals and, and commitment from you guys. So again, thank you. Thank you so much for attending today. And we'll make the presentation available as well as the market study. And uh, like I said, you can go on our website and the, the outline plan, the draft uh, plan outline with content is there and some other information uh, is there as well. Give you a better, better look at it. Well, thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you.